Whenever people find out that I'm a historian and I teach American history, they want to talk to me about the Civil War. And specifically, they often want to make the suggestion that the Civil War wasn't actually about slavery. So to help get you ready for the holidays, I have the top five reasons that people give about how the Civil War wasn't really about slavery and some ways that you can respond. Reason number one, the Civil War was really a war about states' rights. The obvious follow-up to this question is, states' rights to do what? The main states' rights that most southern states wanted to protect was ignoring federal laws that did anything to limit slavery. But don't take it from me, take it from South Carolina, the first state to secede. In their orders of secession, which they enacted in December after the election of Abraham Lincoln, the state of South Carolina wrote, a geographical line has been drawn across the union. All the states north of that line have united in the election of a man, the office of the president, whose opinions and purposes are hostile to slavery. South Carolina's own constitutional architect of secession, John C. Calhoun, famously argued that slavery was a positive good for the United States. And he was the man who argued most forcefully for why Southern states ought to lead the Union if slavery was limited in any way. Reason two, most Southerners did not own slaves. 75% of Southerners did not own slaves. And if you asked 100 Confederate soldiers why they were fighting, you get a lot of different answers. But I guarantee that probably none of them would have said, I am fighting for slavery. That being said, the folks who sent them to fight certainly wanted them to fight for slavery. That's a guarantee. Reason number three, Southerners fought out of loyalty to their state. For the best answer to this one, refer back to number two. The folks that sent them to fight were the folks who owned the most slaves. Many Southerners did fight because they were loyal to their states, but a lot weren't. In fact, both sides in this war had to resort to conscription or the draft. By the year 1863, both sides had started drafting. Some parts of the South, specific counties, had actually seceded from the Confederacy because they resisted being drafted to go and fight in this war. Reason number four, it was a war between two different economies. All right, there are a few different problems with this argument. One problem with it is that the North and the South were interdependent economies. The North relied on cotton grown in the South, grown by slave labor, and these two economies were locked together like a dovetail. Large parts of the North were agrarian, just like the South. The difference was they didn't rely on an army of four million unfree laborers to grow their crop. Beyond that, Southerners were worried about losing the $4 billion investment in unfree human beings that represented the second largest of asset in the South after the land itself. Reason number five, let me stop you there. My final point is a question that I would encourage you to ask the person that you're talking with. And this question is, why is it so important to you that this is a war that is not a war about slavery? These are heated conversations, and that's a difficult question to answer, and it's not a question that I would expect a conversant to be able to answer me honestly and quickly, but this is something that I would hope someone might be able to ask themselves, maybe when they're alone. Why is it important to me that the Civil War wasn't a war about slavery? If you can answer that question to yourself honestly, then maybe you're on the right track to trying to understand what the war was really about. Dr. Tim out.